All right, for today's cook, we're gonna be using some Pam Nonstick cooking spray once again. Go with some Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning. We're gonna also use one apple. One lemon. For our fuel, going with B and B oak lump charcoal, cherry chunk wood for flavor, a small charcoal chimney, a tumbleweed fire starter. That way we get the fire started. And to cook, we're going to be using the 22-inch Weber Smoky Mountain. And we're also going to be using the rotisserie accessory. Almost forgot, guys. We're going to be also using some rosemary and some thyme for the chicks. All right, we'll see you for the prep. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this chicken from El ACB seasoned up. I'm gonna start by removing it out the package. All right, and when we remove this out of the package, it's gonna get kind of nasty gonna be juices everywhere that's why I got some paper towels already on the uh, cutting board Oop, there they go okay so let's remove this out we'll remove it over my trash can here that way the juices don't be getting everywhere on the board try to get rid of as much of the juice as possible on here. Let's go ahead and give us some paper towels and take off the excess moisture. We already seasoned this one up and this is the one we're going to use for the uh, tutorial on seasoning. Alright, now we're going to get the uh, Insides out. This one's still a little bit frozen, but that's all right. Just removing everything from the cavity. Just about everything. All right, now we're gonna get our knife, trim off some of this excess skin. We're gonna leave some of that skin there because we're gonna use some butcher's twine and close the cavity after we stuff it with our lemon and apple. That way they don't fall out. All right. Clean her up. Let's go ahead and turn her around, clean up the other side. All right, that's pretty good there. So we're gonna flip her back over. Clean up this excess mess. Cut this off here. No, you can just clean it to your liking. All right, now let's flip it back over. 
Now we're going to take these wings here and we're just going to pop them back on the other side like this there. It just helps when it cooks. All right. All right, folks, now I'll wash my hands right quick before we start touching the uh, nonstick cooking spray and the rub. See you then. All right, we're just washing dry our hands. Now, I'm gonna pick the bird up. Take some of our nonstick cooking spray. Spray the bird. This is just gonna help the rub stick on and we're using the Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning. We're gonna start by seasoning the inside of the cavity. Make sure you get plenty in there. All right, now we're gonna turn it on its backside. Season the backside. Good there. Put it back on its back. She's in the top. All right. Now, let's get these sides. We're still going to touch it up when it gets out there on the rotisserie, so no worries. Alright. Now, what we're going to do here is take our knife. Some of this excess skin that we kept here, more towards the bottom. I want to poke it there, kind of spin the knife around, this way it makes a nice little hole in it for you in the skin there. On that side, then we get it go on the other side, do the same thing here, and twist it around a little bit. Now we're going to take a piece of butcher's twine and grab, alright, we're going to take it. Put the butcher's twine through. All right, now we get the other. Side as well. Sometimes it's a little tricky, folks, but you'll get it. All right. So now that we got the twine through there, let's go ahead and start by putting the, uh, just cut up, this is half of a lemon. We use the other half of this chicken. All right. Take some of the lemon there. We've got a couple of pieces of rosemary here. I'm gonna stuff this inside the bird as well. It's gonna give it some nice flavor. We'll take our apples, do the same thing. This is just half an apple cut up into six pieces. Place our apple inside. Oh yeah, that's gonna be some good eats right here. All right, then we'll just take us a little bit of time here. We've got some time as well. Throw these in here. All right, now, what we're going to do is close up the bird with our butcher's twine. See there, it kind of keeps the uh, cavity closed there. Now we just got one. Then we'll double knot this here. Now what I'd like to do is get the legs. 
and tie the legs as well. This is what's going to help it under rotisserie from not opening up and all the stuff falling out. Your apples and your, your lemons or limes we can put in there. Alright, now we're going to cut off the excess. Butcher twine. Alright. Don't worry about how it looks right now, folks. When we put it out on the uh, rotisserie there, we're going to respray it a little bit and touch it up. This is to just let the flavor kind of sink into it. All right, guys, we'll see you out at the grill. All right, to get our fire started, we're gonna go ahead and get our lump of charcoal. Cool. It probably won't burn through all of the charcoal, but it's always better to have more than not enough. Alright. Take a couple of fire starters. Throw them right in the middle there. Let those catch up a little bit. Alright, now they're starting to get lit. We're going to kind of surround it a little bit. The fire starters, that is, with some of the coals. folks now we're gonna let that go for about 10 to 15 minutes and we're gonna see where it's at we'll see you there all right it's been about 10 minutes and this is how the fire is looking I'm gonna go ahead and grab a few chunks here place some more on the outer part Yeah. When I put the rotisserie chickens on, I'm going to place one of the uh, wood chunks right in the middle there. That way we start with some wood flavor. But we're going to go ahead and assemble the uh, Smoky Mountain. Let it come up to temp. put it together now we're just going to wait for our temp to get up to about 325 about 350 that's what we want to cook these at all right we'll see you when it's up to temp all right now we're going to get the chickens on the rotisserie skewer here i'm going to start by putting it on one end of the cavity together this way if anything wants to fall out it makes it a little bit harder for it to fall out all right let's stick it in this cavity there hmm it's a little tough there all right sometimes they're a little tough to deal with but we'll get it there it is all right Okay, I'm going to try to put it even here, an even amount of space, alright, looks like it's going to be somewhere there, so we'll tighten this one down, get our other one, stick this right through, 
Okay. Tighten this one down. All right, and now we've got the chickens on the skewer here. Now let's take them out to the grill. Let's see how that fire is doing. All right, our barbecue's up to temp. We're gonna go ahead and put the uh, rotisserie skewer with the chickens on the accessory here. We'll start by removing this lid. All right, so we grab our skewer here with the rotisserie chicks on here. And now I'm putting it first without the motor because you see how it's going to fall. Okay, this is how it's off weight. Now we're going to take our counterweight here. Now that we know where it's off balance to counter that, we're going to put this counterweight and you put the counterweight facing up, upward. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and get our motor. Set our motor down. Put it in our motor. Okay, now we're going to start it. Start spinning. Now remember I told you I don't worry how the chicks look for now. Because we're going to retouch them up. So we're going to respray a little here. Bam. This is going to be good. Alright, so we're just going to touch them up right quick. We're going to touch them up right quick. Sorry about that. My daughter is just trying to get in with us right now, but we're going to see her right now. Hold on, Leo. We'll be right there, Emma. Alright, so we're just touching these up. That's going to be just right, right there. Now, a little windy out here, fellas. Things are starting to fall. Now we're going to take this chunk that we said we were going to put. And we're going to place it right here on the center of the fire right here. That way that one catches instantly. And the ones that we have on the outside, those ones will catch on the way. All right, folks, let's get this shut down. All right, then we're gonna take our lid. Put our lid on top. All right, and we're gonna put these rotisserie chicks to sleep for about one hour. And we're gonna come and check on them. See you then. All right, it's been an hour now, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it here you can see we're holding at about 320 almost all right now what we're gonna do is take a look and butter baste them so let's go ahead and take off the lid man look at those look at that all right now we're going to get us some rosemary here and we got some butter. You can get your favorite butter, whichever butter you like. Just going to cook this here, baste them a little. Give it some good flavor. Keep it nice and moist. Even though the rotisserie is doing its own thing by letting the juices roll over on each other. And these chicks look good. Right, people. You know that look good. You know you want some. You know you want some. Alright. Now we're just going to pull a little bit. Pull it up. Pull it up. Alright. I don't want to put too much now. Just enough. Just enough. Yeah, that's going to get a little more smoky because that butter there. Alright. Alright, now we're gonna throw the lid back on and we'll come take a peek at these chicks here in about 30 minutes. See how they're doing. Alright folks, we'll see you there. Alright folks, we're two hours in. 
temp's been holding around 320 there, you know, 325. But it's time to temp these, see where we're at internally. Got this little chimney going down here for some little jalapeno bombers. Check out my YouTube shorts for that. All right, now let's check these out. We're gonna temp these. Once again, we got the SNS grills, instant read thermometer. Oh man, look at that. That look good. Oh, we're going to wait till they turn around on the other side. That way we temp the breast. The safe temperature here is uh, 165, but my peeps and I, we like it around 175 in the breast. So that's what we're going to go. Oh, wow, you see, we're already there, folks. We like it around 175 or so, and here we are at 176 on this chick right here. Now let's check out this chick right here. Just under. We're about 163 here. Let's get this other piece here and see where we're at on this one. About 165. And we do have an audience here, so, you know, we'll have a little bit of difference there, so they might like it a little less than we like it. Uh, 174 there on that leg. Let's check out this leg here. What was the bone there? All right, 179. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull these off and let these cool down, and we'll see you inside. All right, we got these chicks out of the rotisserie. We're gonna go ahead and cut off the twine here. Put your twine, trash. Now we're gonna go ahead and dissect one of these leg quarters. We're gonna dissect the, the rest later. You can dissect however you like. But we got a special guest taste tester here today. And this is our good friend, Miss Gabriella. She's gonna go ahead and taste test our meat today. All right, now let's see. Oh my God. Yes, I can make two dark mm -hmm. No, actually it's pretty good. Exquisite. All right, so we got some good rotisserie barbecue Cajun chicken here. All right, stay tuned for some more good footage. 